Hi guys, this is Rahul here from myview.rahulnavy.net which is my blog. Here in this screencast, we are going to talk to you about NG model which is two-way binding. Now basically NG model is nothing new. Uh, this is already there in that Angular one. So similar kind of uh, activity and feature is brought in into this Angular 2 as well. Now what does NG model means basically and why it is required? So the very fact is like whenever uh, let's suppose you are building any web forms and uh, in that um, page load you wanted to display certain values associated with that particular uh, props inside that model right so that in that case ng model is the best thing i mean because uh, this will have some sort uh, have some values inside that properties which will be available when the, on the first load and whenever you are changing the uh, stuff on the form then it will you will be changing on the view and it will be available in the component back to get uh, persisted back in the DB. So this is two way kind of a step from view to component and component to view. So this is all about ng model uh, in terms of Angular 2 and this is its syntax. If you see here, uh, this is the um, simple form which we have already seen in movie review, right? In the previous example so this is the same form i'm just utilizing the same example over here uh, and for this ng model what is there is like it, it starts with again with the square brackets which is mean for property binding and then small bracket which is mean for event binding and inside that this ng model comes in and then the property which needs to be targeted so this is the entire syntax for this ng model pretty simple now let's see this what is this model and from where it is coming on now if you remember this my ts file right so this is my component file and from here uh, all the prerequisites are getting imported first of all um, angular of course and then ng form which is required for any uh, kind of uh, angular forms uh, building component and movie is my uh, again movie is my class so which is here let me just so this is the movie class right so having id movie name director release here reviews which is the label so everything is here now <clears throat> if you see this uh, particular piece so we were uh, here like in this movie form component.html and we were doing all this binding with this ng model in this particular form only now all these properties are getting injected via this component and this uh, particular movie is uh, getting imported from that movie class right now these are the few fields which we have already seen and here is the model which is getting constructed over here with some default values right so this is the form uh, which uh, so this form is going to contain this particular value when the form first loads so let me just go ahead and run this app so that we can see it live Now here is the thing. Uh, so what I've done is I just check in this uh, uh, this property inspect property uh, just uh, down to this particular movie name so that we can see some live tracking over here, right? Now uh, this is the one thing. Uh, so this value is getting injected from my uh, component to view. Now if I change something here. So this is the live tracking which is happening right here. You can see this has been changed to Titan. So this will be persisted back to my component so this is called a uh, dual binding or uh, back and forth i would say uh, this is called uh, two way binding so this is very essential whenever you are building any kind of angular forms right so then this will be uh, available for you uh, this data will be available for you uh, for the next iteration uh, whenever you are going to persist any changes right like uh, on on the case of on submit button which is currently doing nothing but just an example you can think of that I hope I hope you have liked this discussion in the coming sections will delve further till then stay tuned and happy coding